Hi everyone, and welcome back to the UMIS Student Vlogs. In recognition of Juneteenth, I'm joined by two fellow Wolverines to discuss the importance of the holiday, Black history, and the role of Blackness at the University of Michigan. Can you all please introduce yourselves? My name is Jasmine Williams. I'm a senior double majoring in Spanish and Social Theory and Practice, and I also serve as the speaker of the Black Student Union. My name is Zion Philpotts, and I'm gonna be an incoming junior, and my major is Biopsychology, Cognition, and Neuroscience, and I'm focusing on pre-med studies. For those that might not be aware, can you explain what Juneteenth is and the significance behind it? Juneteenth is a colloquial term used for June 19th, which is the date of the slavery emancipation in the U.S. in 1865. While the Emancipation Proclamation was technically signed into order and active as of January of 1863, it took over two and a half years for the Union Army to finally make it to Texas and free the last of slaves. Um, so it was actually two years until about over 200,000 slaves even learned that they were free. Um, so that's why it's June 19th, 1865, called Juneteenth, um, which can also be called African American Freedom Day. Why is celebrating Juneteenth important to you? Celebrating Juneteenth is important to me because it's a holiday that celebrates Black people's fight for freedom and equality. I think that when it comes to our history, our freedom, I think that Juneteenth is extremely important to celebrate and embrace within the U.S. There are so many important moments throughout Black history that simply are not taught in school. At least for me, I didn't learn what Juneteenth was until last year. Why do you think there's such a large gap in education? People really aren't teaching Juneteenth, they're learning what Juneteenth is. And I think it's truthfully just because um, Black people are a minority within the nation. Um, U.S. history is very whitewashed simply because the majority of Americans are white. Um, and so there's not as much of a need to learn or teach about things that don't directly affect you. Whereas for Black people, we're directly affected still by things that happen within slavery, whether it be culturally, culturally due to generational trauma, things like that. So that history is important and we should learn it because it affects us in our everyday lives still. But for the majority of Americans who aren't Black, that history really isn't as important. It doesn't mean as much to them. So therefore it's very easily skipped over within education. How do you feel about the importance of Juneteenth as it relates to black liberation at a time of heightened awareness about the numerous remnants of slavery that are lived out in American society today? I think really looking at the history of slavery, things that were done to you know, finally lead to things like Juneteenth and the, the overall freedom of all black people in the US can also kind of be used to look at mass incarceration in our carceral system and really work on making those changes to now lead to black liberation in that aspect so that we don't have all of our black men and black women incarcerated in prisons, you know, unable to really live life and do things that they're supposed to do because of a system that is used to oppress them and keep them, you know, held down, kind of keep them in those same shackles that they were in during, you know, the times of slavery. So I definitely think that that momentum should be used towards things like that. And of course, there are so many other things, whether it be police brutality, um, inequalities within our education system. There are so many ways that Black liberation can you still be, you know, shown and put forth. But I definitely think for myself personally, I think that mass incarceration is a really big start to all of that. This year, the University of Michigan is hosting its first ever Juneteenth Symposium. What do you hope will come out of this educational effort? I think this event is so amazing. I think it's just another opportunity to teach about, you know, African American history outside of, you know, Black History Month and, you know, MLK Day. Um, and I think it's been a great, great, great educational opportunity campus wide. Like I've mentioned before, many people don't know what Juneteenth is, its significance, why it's celebrated, you know, by the Black community. So this is finally an opportunity to kind of learn that information. I think it's an opportunity for those who know nothing about Juneteenth to learn about it. And honestly, it's a way that professors can get students to get extra credit or even required credit and make them learn something about history. What role do you see the growing widespread knowledge about Juneteenth playing in DEI initiatives at the University of Michigan and around the country? So I think that June, this Juneteenth symposium, I think will be helpful to DEI because I think it kind of represents, you know, educational DEI. Um, understanding that learning about others' history, um, other struggles, also celebrating um, others' history is really important on campus. And that's another aspect of, you know, DEI that, you know, sometimes might not always be there on campus. So I think this is a great start. I think it should be, you know, a model for, you know, not only just Black history, African American history, Latinx history, LGBTQ plus history, um, other identities as well. Um, so I think this is a good start, I think, understanding that 
you know, there should be campus-wide celebrations for all identities, all cultures. So this is a really good start. Thank you all so much for joining us again for this incredibly important conversation. Go Blue and happy Juneteenth.